Hey, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to Swift Intuition. It's your girl, Mercy. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Also, if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, just hit the description below. Uh, so this is going to be for our Leos. General reading. Messages of love and life for our beautiful Leos. Okay. <laughs> Leo, so we have the high priestess. Okay, so the high priestess speaks of those things that are hidden from you, but being seen, it's like having the energy of uh knowing something without uh without it coming, without it being in front of you. So right now I feel like there's a situation or something that you know that you have to act on. I feel that um if there's some things that are going going on in your life right now, it's like you know if it's something that you need to eliminate. You know if it's a situation that you need to act on. And right now, dang. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take these. They all came out in reverse. Okay, so. And then we got this card. So, okay, the thing that came out, we have the Ace of Swords, but it popped out in reverse with the Tower card in reverse. So, this tells me, Leo, that there is a situation that you know somebody isn't being honest or there isn't any honesty in it. And because of it, it's like in, um, with the tower card in reverse, it's like you're no longer letting someone's lies or deception um, cause you instability. You're no longer letting someone's um, <clears throat> habitual ways of, of communicating <clears throat> like change your mood. And then with the nine of wands, uh, which is located under the priest right now, it says you're saying, Leo, that you're pretty much tired because it's like it's like being in a relationship. You're with somebody who's always lying about things, small things, things that really it, I mean, it could be big things, but this but it's the just lying over stupid stuff and not just that. It's like and, you know, they're lying, you know. And with this, you're making it up in your mind that, you know what, I'm no longer going to let this person's, in, I mean, consistency of being inconsistent, of being honest, uh, stir me any type of way. That's the reason why the nine of wands is there. you like, you know what, I don't even care no more. I don't, look at her face. Let me see if it become light so bright. I can't even, you look at her face, she's like, I don't even care anymore. Like, like you're just tired. And right now with the spirit, like you're, you have the six of swords. This is you moving on. This is like you, you're no longer dealing with someone's uh, inability to tell the truth or be clear on what they truly want when it comes to you and their in this situation. It's like, I don't want to go through any more emotional stress. I'm no longer letting this um, get to me. And because you did that, your person, Leo is now trying to uh come in and and give you an offer. It's it's still not uh something. It it this this is a night. So it's somebody pretty much wanting to elevate a relationship, wanting to their they know that you can see through their BS. They know you can tell they're lying. So now to keep you in because they could feel that your move that <clears throat> what they're doing is no longer affecting you emotionally. So what they want to do is, okay, maybe, maybe I need to offer this person uh, a little bit of what they want, but you know that this offer isn't going to be fulfilling because the in the way that it came and not just that, but if this person isn't really wanting to change for themselves, they're not going to change for you. Then we have the eight of swords, the eight of swords, um, it's like the Eight of Swords is like you're feeling trapped in, um, you're feeling trapped in leaving. I feel like this could be somebody that you've been with for a while. It could be somebody that, um, you know, I don't know, I'm getting, uh, you could have moved to a new, to a state with this person. And it's like, you guys started this life in this place, particular place. And it's like, it's, it, it, it feels hard to move from a situation or even not to let the, <clears throat> the behaviors of this person affect you. But at the end of the day, you tired, boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got the, the, the Knight of Wands. So we got a Knight of Cups and a Knight of Wands. 
no kings on deck. So we have the Knight of Wands right here. This is um this is the in and out energy. This is I feel that you you know you're you're feeling trapped about the situation. I feel like you do uh have feelings for this person, but this person is in and out and not just that, but they're a knight. It's like they're mature, they matured, but they're not at the king level. They're not, and you're the high priestess. It's like you need somebody that's going to be on your level. A knight is nowhere near on the priest priestess level. And now with this in and out energy, it's like this person feels that uh, it's like while you're moving away, this person wants to come in and have some type of physical intercourse with you, you know, and it's like then they're going to be out. But they're doing this to see if they can gather up, get this emotion because they want, believe it or not, I feel that your person likes these tower moments. They like to know that they have your mind, your mental. Then we have the four of wands. The four of wands speaks of union, celebration. Your person is hoping that once they come back in, if they can um, come in, because they, they're very sexual. So they feel that if they can come in, first give you an offer, and then come in sexually. And if this is it, I feel that uh, you walked away from this person, and then you probably let them in. So you probably let them have a... Just, Maybe your head was closed, your last entanglement, and then now it got you stuck in your head again on what could be, if this home dynamic could be. Because at the end of the day, this is what you want, but will you be able to get it from this person is the question. Messages of love and life are beautiful Leos. Messages of love and life are beautiful Leos. Ooh, okay, we have... Um, <clears throat> We have children, so another reason what what could be uh, keeping you constricted or, or keeping you feeling stuck is because you have children. Your life is being affected by children. You could have children by this person, so it's kind of hard uh, not to not see this person, especially if they use the kids as scapegoat, if they're not a consistent, on-time, you know, all-the-time person. Then we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So right now, this could mean that the reason why it's hard for you to move, uh, you, you're in a place of being stuck because you're ready to move forward. You could have met somebody new. You know your person is uh, is in and out, you know. And I feel like it's hard for you to move forward, especially if you have children with a person in your past. And then, not just that, but seeing that wedding, the situation involves marriage, wedding uh fell by the knight of cups so i feel like if this new relationship that you're having is getting serious i feel that it's affecting or your person is feeling affected because they know this is like a permanent change that is about to happen in your life and i feel that it's like they um they really want to get back in because you being getting in a serious relationship is is hurting their chances of being able to come in and out. All right. If any of that resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. I love y'all. I love yourself. Bye, Leos.